What's going on guys? I'm headed to the gym once again in the truck. I feel like I do this every time. I forget the video and like tell you guys what's going on until I'm in the truck. But um, it's probably not the safest thing. Anyway, going to the gym. It's going to be chest and back day today. It is a Tuesday. Uh, Monday was actually my day off of work. So I actually took it off of the gym too. So I missed International Chest Day. Moving International Chest Day to Tuesday this week. And we're going to get it done chest and back. Um, that's kind of a weird combination for some people. And I always thought so too. And then I did the Arnold Blueprint at one point for mass. And he combines chest and back. And it's actually unbelievable. So I do that every now and then. I still don't add it in. I still like to hit chest and triceps a lot. Uh, which is like what everybody thinks of as your regular chest split. But chest and back every now and then is killer. So that's what we're doing today. Look forward to seeing you guys there. And it won't be long now. About 15 minutes drive. Let's get it. Alright guys, so I'm sitting here. I just finished my warm up. My band warm up for the day. I'm getting ready to get into chest and back. What I'm going to do today is work on some sticking points with chest. So the plan is to work up to 225 with band attachments um, to work that top sticking point. So those are going to be really low rep, um, probably like sets of three or four even. Um, and the thing with putting bands on like that is, you know, that it's heavier at the top. So at the top depending on what kind of band you're using, it's actually more like 245, 250, just for the top six inches of that movement. Um, and then on the bottom, on your chest, it's actually 225, the real weight. So I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna superset it with an incline barbell press. Um, that's gonna be kind of lightweight, but I'm gonna do pause reps. So 135, pause reps on the chest, shooting for like eights to tens there and those are going to be super set back to back so just one right into the other for quite a few sets since it's lower reps you know uh, sets of three and then sets of eight or ten so uh, that's the plan work both sticking points the top and the bottom and then that's all I'm going to do for chest because that's going to be pretty taxing in the morning because it's not something you normally do now I'm going to go into back and I'm going to hammer back hard especially lats um, so when I'm combining chest and back like this you get this feeling like this feeling of thickness that you don't normally have just because you're pumped on both the front and the back side so I like to hit lats and try to get a wider feeling instead of well I like the thick feeling too but you know even it out with the wideness so I'm gonna hit lats pretty heavy with the back day so let's go ahead and get into that I'm gonna shoot some footage of the bands so you know what I'm talking about um, and then I'll show you you know the superset and we'll get in the back let's do it that was like that was set eight so I have ten probably should have filmed before that set because before the last, you know, the first five sets, pretty easy. That set sucked. So, whoops. All right, guys, as usual, I'm starting my back with pull-ups, but these are actually going to be considered working sets for me. So I'm going 10 sets of 10, starting with 100 pull-ups. Um, I'm on set, check, I'm on set nine. Look at, this is what I do to keep track of sets. Because I'm, I cannot remember. I don't know if you can see this. And yeah, maybe not. I literally mark them on the mirror. You can sort of see it. So, that's the only way that I can keep track without forgetting. I clean the mirror, don't worry, gym faculty. But, uh, Set nine, only two left. That'll be a hundred pull-ups to start back day. Let's go. Find a place to set you guys. Can you see that? I think so. These are super wide grips, so I'm going almost as wide as I can on these handles. Uh. 
one more. I'll mark that one. All right, so that superset is gonna be wide grip lat pull downs, and then these banded straight arm lat pull downs. With these, uh, I don't know what tension this band is, the red band. All I know is I can't do the green and I can't do the red. But the if it's easy, because like this red band seems really light, but if you scoot your hands up, obviously, on the uh, band, it gets a lot heavier. And I like to wrap my hand in it and do it that way. Um, I think I'm gonna get you guys an angle on this next set from the side, so you can see kind of, you know, the form behind this, because it is a little different. This is the first time I've tried it. I like it. I don't know if I like it as much as the straight arm pull downs on the actual lap pull machine, but it's something different. So, there you get to see a little more of the angle. Um, what I like to do is when I'm coming up to the top, bring my hands closer together. Feel like I stretch my lats more that way. And then uh, when I'm coming down to my sides, pull the band apart. New exercise. Go ahead and try it. It's pretty. It's it's okay. It's okay. Every time you walk in, I be like, speak of the devil. And my chain is overweight, I call this shit heavy metal. I got some girls in the country, they be like, come and get them. And so I do, but I never let it fuck up my way. Going hard, me and TJ been on this shit for days. In the band, though, got a couple girls in the cage. You know we famous, y'all niggas. All right, guys. On to the next back exercise. This one's not going to be a superset. I've got... I can't talk music. But, um... Not gonna be a super set. I've got dumbbell bent rows with 55, 55 pound dumbbells. I'm gonna do decently high rep on these. Hopefully 12 to 15 reps. And these are gonna be basically my main back exercise. So I'm gonna do quite a few sets. If I get if I get 15 reps, I'll probably do four sets. If I'm getting 12, I'll probably do five sets. So 15 really wasn't that bad. I think it will be later in the sets, but I'm definitely doing five sets with 15. I lied for it. Five sets with 15. All right, guys. We only got one back exercise left. It's gonna be shrugs. Gotta hit traps. So honestly, I haven't been hitting them as much as I used to, and I like traps. So I'm gonna go ahead, load up a bar with 225, and do three or four sets to failure on traps with 225. So I don't have any reps in mind. Um, to be honest, it'd probably be like 10 to 15 each set before I fail. So let's get that, and then we're done with chest and back. That's gonna be a wrap on chest and back day. Um, that split, I love it. You just, you really do feel like pumped front and back. You feel thick, you feel wide. It's an awesome, awesome split. I don't wanna do it, I don't like to do it every week because it is kind of a, a long workout. Like I've been in here about an hour and 45 minutes right now. Um, but an amazing, amazing split for sure. Maybe, maybe my favorite split period. Try it out. Anyway, I'm going to get back to the house and get some food, get a shake before work, and uh, I might continue filming. I know I said that last time, and I promised you guys an ending. I'm going to have to do something, so 
I'll see you then. All right, so I'm getting ready to go to work. I was hungry, but I had to bring Alex her camera back, which this camera that I'm recording on right now is Alex's Sony A5000. Um, I'm too cheap to buy one, so I just steal hers. But um, I had to bring it back to her uh, before I go to work. And I was in a rush. I was like, man, I gotta get home and I gotta cook food to take to work with me. But this is why Alex's mom comes in clutch. Look at this. Leftovers for days. So I get to take to work some casserole and mac and cheese and some homemade pizza. That's, that's not even like half of, look at this, look at this. I could have picked anything I wanted, look, watch this. Look at all these leftovers. It's like a dream fridge. Dream fridge. So anyway, I am setting this camera, or keeping this camera here, going to work. So this will probably end this video um, for the day. I will see you guys prop maybe tomorrow. And tomorrow is leg day. Ugh. But I'll see you then. Have a good night. Enjoy some like cinematic food footage at the end of this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you later. You've got some badass dreams, and I like your style. I can.